Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about the GoPro 7 Hero. So, we're going to talk a little great things about it. So, I ended up loving this camera. I've been using it for a lot of things. Now, one thing that a lot of viewers saw that I was videotaping with this camera and it had the fish eye lens kind of built in. It's because it gets these 4K fish eye lens, pretty good views of everything. But, it's not very good content for actually YouTube, so it's kind of you want to change it maybe to the linear part of it. And there's a lot of videos on how to change it. It does, it does some great content, and I want to use this because when I go to conventions, I hate to carry this big old Canon machine that I have right here that's videotaping me right now. So I went a little bit way overhead and say, hey, what about if I could add to this and may, maybe add a mic, a better mic? It comes with a good mic as it is, but it doesn't have a good quality of it and we're going to see a little bit we're going to record on this one when i have it fully loaded and if you're going to start a blog or something like this maybe this is going to be an option for you guys to start you know it's a great feature i personally love this camera a lot it comes with the stabilization which i love i mean you don't need a, these machines to buy accessories for it you know they're pretty expensive we're talking about a, a stabilizer stabilizer that costs like three or four hundred bucks this has it built in but like i said i wanted to use it more in depth i wanted to take it to conventions i use this at the car shows and it's great footage but the fish and fish lens is kind of one of those things that i don't like about it so they have these great accessories that are people are developing and making for just this particular machine and the accessories that i have works for the five six and seven which got my attention so we're going to go ahead and talk about the accessories i bought we're going to go in depth and we're going to set it up and we're going to do a little testing on it and see how well it works and we're going to test it out here so if you're going to ever start a blog this might be it man this camera it fits in your palm of your hand they sell many accessories for it batteries um last a couple hours you know uh you could remote out of your phone you could have this set up to your phone you could record you could review uh quality of it you could dumb it down a time lapse you could do a lot of great features that a lot of bloggers love you know so instead of spending so much money on a, on a, a big camera you know big expensive camera over 500 or 600 dollars and you just don't get your money's worth sometimes you know you have to carry this big old lug of machine you don't have to carry that much with this so we're gonna go ahead and go in depth and see what i got for just this machine so we could do more of the blogging and more of the videos on the actual um, um conventions and other stuff so stick around you you might like some of the stuff so let's take a go ahead and let's take a look at what the accessory I bought let's bring that camera over first of all we're going to start with the case now this case is a special case it's not just a normal case it does work with every single um object that gopros have so but this is a different accessory we're going to open it up here and see what i'm talking about so the company name i'm not going to try to pronounce it but i'm going to put the accessories and everything i purchased on the description if you guys want something similar to this and see if you find it helpful if not you know good luck try to find something else and you know maybe something better there's a lot of th things out there but this is an accessory i picked out and this is probably the one of the most um, popular one like i said it works with this one is works with the five six and seven um it still has the same um settings as the other ones <clears throat> the only thing is like difference is that you slide it to open it it's pretty much a little door trap in here instead of opening up or locking it down and it still has the same accessories as a gopro here to grab onto this thing i do have a gopro handle here and this one's actually for my existing gopro 7 uh this is very flexible i like to move this stuff right there but we're going to add this one in here and we're going to remove that one and have it as a permanent fixture now so what you do is you just take out the old one existing one and i like the new settings on the new uh, gopros how you remove them instead of taking the old um, um screw that used to be on the side you just pretty much just take it off put the new one in and you're pretty much set to go so this is almost per pretty much almost set up you know so i'm setting up on the new system the new uh case into the existing gopro handle and I, I like i said i like to grab onto certain things on on um, some if there's a speaker or something i want to set this right in front of it i could do that i love this feature flexible and this is from gopro this is directly from gopro but other makers sell it too you could buy it cheaper other vendors have it cheaper um but love this one i've been using this one actually for two years already uh highly recommend it uh the grip itself is super strong it is like super grippy strong uh it's flexible i mean it is super strong just it won't move it won't budge uh 
I took it to the beach. There's a couple of sand in there, you know, but that's the least of your worry. So this is the old one. This is the new casing, and you're going to ask me, why is this so bulky? Why is this so big? So I'm not even going to put it on so we can actually set up the accessories before we, we do that. So let me take it off. Yeah, and the GoPro goes in, in, the, in the side of it. Like I said, you open it up through a side panel, little panel, real good. So then we're going to put this on the side. The next item we bought was an audio extender. So this one is going to be the hottest thing to find and the hardest thing to find. Uh, it's a GoPro 3.5 millimeters uh, mic adapter. So this has a type C connection and it has another type C connection. You could charge it and it has an audio connection. So let's go ahead and open it up in here. And this one was very difficult to buy. Um, mostly other stores sell out. There's a couple of stores that might have it or might not have it. So uh, trying to get gather this this item by itself, and I'm gonna put the little reviews on it and how much it costs. This one's probably the most uh, pricey thing that you have to buy from this accessory, to be honest with you. This one was $49.95, close to 50 bucks, and it's the smallest item. But what it is, it has an audio jack in here, the 3.5 millimeter, and it has a Type C connection, so you could charge it too, or you could have, or you could transfer your videos directly to it too. Because once it's in here. You don't want to be taking it off and on. So basically what you do is you, you, you slide it in through the back. See how it slides in the back? And it connects through the front pretty much, you know. It connects on the side of it. It could connect here or wherever it goes. So it could go either way. So it could slide either way. You could slide it through the back. It depends how you want to set it up. So there's a couple of various connection. And we're not going to set it up until we have the whole camera set up and, and, and make sure it works. And we're going to test it out. So that's another accessory. So these two accessories I bought. The next accessory that I purchased was also another little expensive one, but it was cheaper than the actual three millimeter jack. This is the actual, we're going to put this, this is the actual mic I purchased just for this um, GoPro. So we're going to put this right here on the side and the mic itself, it comes with instructions, setups and everything. And they give you the little fuzzy little ball. This is, if you guys know what this is, it's basically for uh, if it's windy or something you want to record this is a perfect accessory for it and, and it's removable so you can remove the mic actually this is a shotgun mic so this is just a casing and it's pretty thick there's actually a, a different settings in here that I don't even I can't even open it but if it fits, slides in and out it's pretty large I mean I didn't expect to be this big but and of course you could connect an extension connection a 3.5 uh, millimeter mic connection so we're gonna put this on the side here Let's take out what else you get. You, this is the shock, the sh the shock um, for the mic. It's a stabilizer for the mic. It's a shock little mic. Um, state uh, so it will move. It will adjust. It has. It's pretty decent made. You know, really small compared to a larger one that I have in my camera currently right now. Uh, for any stabilization on the mic, so it won't adjust too much, move too much with the wind and stuff like that. But which is good. They give you the extending cord of 3.5 millimeter cord. Uh, a little one, you know, but you could actually stretch it out to almost close to a foot or a half, foot and a half, I would say. Um, they give you another one, direct connection, so you don't need the extra extender. You could connect direct to it without stretching it out. And, of course, they give you a little sack, a little feather bag, so you could fit everything in here and you want to travel, put it all together. We're going to set them all up in here, and we're going to bring in the camera now. So this is a GoPro camera, the Hero 7. Loved it. Recommendation on it is make sure you guys buy a protective slip in the front of it. I haven't done that, and I'm afraid I'm going to scratch it, but I'm, I'm I'm playing it along with it. Uh, you could replace it. It's not that easy to replace. I mean, I've seen some videos to replace this stuff. So right now, what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to add, we're going to remove the the side panel door where actually all the connections are going and right here there's a side panel door right here if you guys see it so what you guys do you, you there's a little panel here that protects everything in here what you got to do is when you open the door when you push the button push it down straight down and what you do is here it is so you kind of push down towards you like that and if you guys see it it's just a little grip that's holding on to it so it's just pull, pulling down down and forward to you kind of like a uh, 35 degree angle 45 degree angle towards you down up so it's grabbing onto the door and we get removed the door right there if you guys see it now exposing the type c connection and the mini micro uh, hdmi connection too so it's exposing two of them right now so what you do now on the casing itself you grab the case in here and you pretty much it, it lines up properly you know so 
it just slips in there see how it slips in there now on the cables uh, they're gonna have to be extended through the back in here so there's two options you can do you could pass them through here and plug them in directly here like here here so so that means we have to slide this in to the back you could do it this way and we just pretty much set it up where the connections are at is exposing it depends how you want to do it you know if you want to bend some of the stuff go ahead and bend it um, there's different options you can do um, and if you know the type c connection you could either go either way so this is pretty much set up now if you guys see it pretty simple pretty decent to do uh, once you set that up the next part will be setting up the mic part and the mic part it's very simple it slides on the top and you and you tighten it all right so you know righty tighty lefty loosey same thing you tighten it up it, it looks something like this um you could slide in the door if you want at this point so the store the door slides in here it's very simple uh, there we go it's very secure now the cable you might want to do it the other way it depends on how you want to do it but if it's like you don't feel comfortable with it you could find ways to remove this and move it around um, you still have access to the power itself now the mic it's easy it lines up in here and if you guys see the seal mic there's a little grip here and there's only one way you can put it in there so and, and there's only one way there it goes that's it so basically that's the mic itself and we're gonna do it without this first and then we'll add it with it too so uh, you will hear some additional noise and stuff like that and we're gonna do it direct so once you set that up you pretty much like this slide in this in there tied it up then the most important part is the audio so the audio could connect to it if you want you could just do this directly so you could have this cable here so it's accessing to the HDMI uh, type C USB type C connect this directly if you want and then plug it in directly to the top uh, like I said uh, cable management you could do that you could tie it up with zip ties if you want so it won't be on your camera view or on the front view uh, uh, recommendations you could start you could even tie it up you could even circle it around if you want and just plug it in you could I mean find your own way I mean right now don't take my advice you can do what you need to do as long as you don't cover the lens you know that's fine uh, like I said you could use this cable directly maybe it could be a simple thing right now we're just going i just i'm just excited to start using it that's pretty much what i want to use and um everything set up already power is in here camera controls everything access to everything is in here uh the only thing i'm not comfortable with this cable here because it it's you get to twist it maybe i might have to switch it around and let it work for it to connect so i'm gonna try a different setting see if it works and if it's a better option you know but this is pretty much your setup and your blog your blogging camera will be ready you got to make sure you set it up to the linear so it's suitable for um youtube and other um video uploads that you have to do uh if you do the fisheye people might not like it to be honest with you i have a lot of complaints about the fisheye when i do reviews i use the fisheye for those wide angle t monitors but a lot of people don't like the view because it doesn't show uh, a, a degree of a human eye so i changed it back to the linear one and and i'm gonna go with the linear stuff so uh that's the only reason that i'm changing this and i'm setting it up for uh reviews and and like I said, I'm on walking around convention. I want to make sure that I, I could talk to certain uh, individuals and I want to show my their perspective and I want to hear a direct uh, connection with them. Now, this one works with any mic. It could even work with the mic I currently have. Right now, I have a Rode mic on top of it. And this is a nice mic to want to have. It's a shotgun mic. So I might just switch it out. And it's going to be a larger one. But in the video, you're going to get to see the mic. If it's the mic is like up to here. So you're going to see in the video and it's hard to crop out. So so you want to make sure they have extenders to pick the to raise it up uh, razors to raise it a little higher so the mic could be a little longer so you could use that shotgun mic which is has the same features as this one this mic could work in other cameras it's not just for me for this camera but because of the size of it it's very convenient very compatible co compact and very simple to use so we're gonna go ahead and a great thing about this mic this one does not require batteries no batteries necessary all the power comes from actually the actual settings on the gopro 
which is great there's nothing to set up on this mic it's ready to go you don't have to worry about it the, it does drain a little bit more battery on the current battery that the gopro has but you're paying the price you know for a, a simple inexpensive cheap setup that you have good quality 4k videos it's probably worth it you know so i mean i mean it's a little it, it, it adds more weight to it i will say in, um, maybe now it's half a pound you know so i know it didn't weigh too much but it's not that bad and then if you add it to this gimbal like i have a little tiny uh, grip here i don't know what you'd call this but love this man this is one of the best things i use man i like to use this so now i could videotape inside the computer in depth audio and everything going good quality audio so we're gonna go ahead and test it out outdoors and indoors and see how well it works the setup if you guys think that it's a great setup instead of buying one of those youtube cameras and you own an actual uh, gopro and you like the quality of gopro and you want to see some of the quality that i'm going to upload in here and you have like the audio let me know right now we're going to use it without with the audio and without the audio so you guys can see the settings on this all right so let me go ahead and get that camera going now this is the format um it's 16 by 9 on this format and this is more suitable for youtube a little bit better and it's using the linear format so we're gonna go ahead and take the 16 by 9 first and take it outdoors without the whole setup right now it's just a direct uh, camera by itself no shelf no nothing i'm holding it with my hands that's pretty much what i'm doing right now and we're gonna go ahead to take it outside and see how well it works with the audio if you guys think that it works for you this way then you don't need none of the other stuff then that's for you you can use it so we're using this format here this is my little studio that you have it that you see in the back so let's go ahead and go outdoors and i'm using the audio too and i'm using my hand right now just to hold the camera and it's a little windy a little sunny here and there in california of course nice beautiful weather you can't beat it uh if you guys like this format and the audio then this might be suitable for use and we're going to add the shock mic and everything else and then well here's the setup the complete setup with the mic and maybe you might you know, I, the only thing I didn't add to the mic was this right now, but we are going to do another test with this right now, indoors and outdoors. So right now we're doing the test without the fuzzy ball. All right. So right now we're testing out directly the microphone shock, uh, shock, shock, uh, shotgun mic, a little mini shotgun mic. I'm here standing around maybe three, two, two and a half feet from the camera. So for interviews and self blogging, this is pretty much what people use, you know, a selfie stick and something like this. Uh, I'm using a little stand. I told you I, sh I demonstrated earlier, see how it works. Uh, if you guys like this stuff, this is something maybe it's a, it's another option you can do. If you have, if you own the camera, might as well add the accessories and this could be used for various things right now the battery wise on these machines are pretty decent um i do have the dual charging battery setups i carry extra batteries with me uh i never had a problem with the battery wise you know it's easy to replace on this one so i did find a couple issues on the actual model and we're going to talk a little bit about it about my dislikes about it and a little likes on it so we are going to go in depth right now right now we're doing without the fuzzy ball and we're going to do a test First of all, quiet test, and there's noise outside. Then we're gonna do a one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do indoors, but outdoors we're gonna do, we're gonna step out a couple feet away from it, right? So this is an indoors test, and if you guys think that it might be useful for you guys, then more power to you guys. So let's go ahead and push that fuzzy ball and stop this camera and we're also shooting at 16 by 9 right now so that's the format i'm going to keep it going all right right now i have an airplane flying over my head right now if you guys hear it you can't hear that well maybe you can or you can't now i did set up the fuzzy ball in here we're gonna go outdoors and take it out and we're gonna do another test with it i have my phone i have i'm reviewing myself in it which is a great feature let me show you the phone so you guys can see all that stuff in there and you can record this is a great plus team you know and they do have another feature where you can add your phone right next to it they do they sell that but that's an accessory an extra accessory you could have that but I don't see myself walking around with my phone. I only look at the phone like right now, only for in uh, close quarters kind of thing. But outdoors, I don't think I'm gonna use it unless somebody's behind the camera looking at it and I have a producer, somebody right behind me. Maybe I'll give them the phone to take a look at the interview and 
that's pretty much it the only thing that i'm going to talk about a couple other things at the end i'm going to save them for the video all right so let's go ahead and take this this camera outside and just do a test outside we're going to do a test i'm going to start walking back and you guys let me know if you guys could hear it this is probably two and a half feet one two three one two three i'm going to put the mic a little bit down let me see a little bit down one two three 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 It's a little windy out here and I'm gonna put the mic, I'm gonna put the shotgun, I'm gonna actually add the little fuzzy balls here. Alright, we're gonna add the fuzzy ball in here. Little, move it to the top a little bit. We're gonna start walking back again. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. We're gonna back four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're gonna get closer to the camera, we're gonna talk a little bit. That's included with the fuzzy ball. It's a little windy. Perfect. Perfect for the little dead cat. <laughs> so we're gonna do another test without the fuzzy ball right now. And there's a lawnmower man right behind me. Uh, and this is how well it works without it. So I want you to do a test comparison. And let me know what you guys think. Lawnmower is running right now. A perfect testing for that. And it, it feels great. It sounds great. And so let me know what you guys think. So we're gonna final reviews on this one. One important thing that I didn't like about these things was that the curve of the actual cable, I'm gonna take a little picture or videotape on it and I'm gonna let you guys see it where I didn't like how it kind of curves on the cable because uh, type C could be fragile, that connection. It depends on if you pull on it. Uh, another thing I didn't like about it was that um, seems like it's cheesy material and to open the door I'm gonna show you guys a little video how to open this door in the back it took me quite a couple of seconds to figure it out and I didn't know that there was an actual little button that you push in the back to slide the little door out so you could take the camera out um, another thing that you expose this camera to the elements by taking the little door off so if you're like say you're walking through the ocean you don't want anything to come in like any breeze or any moisture in your camera um, it's an investment on these cameras you know now compared to one of those um, high-end machines cameras um, you know we're talking about the Canon or the Sony's that cost you over 500 bucks this is not a bad option you know the mic right now I'm using is a shotgun mic yeah there is no power to it if you could add a road mic with power it might even sound better now before you do that there's an option you got to change on the actual mic uh you have to actually change it in the settings of the gopro in order to make the mic work there's an option where it says regular mic mic plus and right now what i'm using is the mic plus um second will be mic regular mic with power and then mic plus power so make sure you guys change that linear you have to change the linear if you want to make sure if it's bloggable uh people don't like the fisheye <laughs> reality is that nobody really likes the fisheye unless it's a outdoor scene beautiful outdoors but if you're gonna record someone like me you know watch all my little reviews my little hairs and stuff like that you might want to not do that so 4k is very high end on this stuff um like a lot of stuff like i said if you take out the door you're going to expose a lot of it to the elements so waterproof is not going to be waterproof uh you got to be careful about you know if it rains and stuff like that it could damage your mic uh the fuzzy ball another one that i didn't like it's too big this fuzzy ball maybe if they shrink it down it might come on the video or not it depends on the footage i gotta review it uh but i think it's a little bit too big for it i mean um there's a lot of foam in there too besides just the fuzzy part the dead cat they call it um this camera is great because you don't need a gimbal for it uh, the stabilization on the camera is really good so like right now i'm moving it left to right and i'm actually talking to you directly and you'll see that it's not gonna lag a lot audio connection to the mic works well i test it out i did an outdoor test there was a lawnmower man guy i mean it was a perfect element to test it out for someone like that and right now this is pretty much how you're gonna blog you're, you're walking around you're walking around and the camera's stabilizing because there's no gimbal it's built in and you're gonna have a mic you're gonna have a uh, lighting and another plus thing is that if you ever want to add an extra battery you could attach it to the same connection and there is a connection on this box where you could have attached the battery put this in your pocket a, a line directly
directly to the camera. You have an extended amount of hours recording, especially if you're gonna be walking the grounds for many hours. You don't have to carry all this equipment. So when I go to conventions, I used to carry a backpack, all the equipment, extra batteries, extra a memory card. Uh, you don't have to do that. You could just walk with this device and the battery if you want. You could charge it on the go. You could have additional batteries. Batteries are super small. They're like tiny that you could put maybe five of them in your pocket. Um, it depends on how you want to do it. If you want to exchange the batteries, it's a little difficult on this little thing because you got to slide the door, you got to remove the gimbal, you got to remove all the stuff, you know. So you want to make sure that you want to make maybe add the accessory, the charging station. Now, another accessory is that you want to add, it depends on you. If you want to buy an LED settings, it's up to you. I don't really recommend it because everything that you go to, it, the lighting's pretty good, you know, enough, enough so you can review. Uh, the camera does not zoom in, does not focus. It's Stays focused completely you guys see the background you see my face there's no focusing it's made for like a close co close co quarters and indoors is perfect outdoors even better uh, I like the camera all around I'm a big fan of GoPro 7 now uh, became a big fan after you start reviewing and doing all this stuff you start looking for ways to improve your shooting of the videos this is one of them now what I can do this I could just gonna clip it here grab it here move myself hands-free great to do an interview um, you could set up a wire mic to the interviewer that you're gonna interview and you could just set up a perfect setup I'm moving it a little bit like little. So you can set up a perfect mic one-on-one -on -one. you can set up dual mics that they have these little dual uh, little mics that you can hang on yourself one each each user connected directly to the camera nothing's gonna get lost in the audio translations um the camera has a great built-in uh, mic as it is but you can make it better by improving these things by adding your own mic either power or without power uh this mic is not that expensive i mean the whole setup was not that expensive to do but the camera is pretty hefty price but it is it's worth it i mean if you could use this on water uh, underwater out of the water you know without of course you have to do the little door close and other stuff but other than that i'm very impressed with it i like what i've seen uh love the whole setup uh, i'm going to be using this more often and now that you learn more about the camera you want to do more with the camera uh especially like this you know great to go outdoors great to review um other places that you want to take the camera and you don't have to carry these bulky stuff so if you guys like what you see make sure you guys subscribe to upgrade i'm your host Frank the Tank and we are out.